Okay, this is probably the number one question that I get besides how do you cure anxiety? It's about balance. This one comes from Molly and she says, hey Mel, how do you balance being a mom, a wife, and a crazy busy career? Well, first of all, Molly, I don't balance it at all. I don't even, I don't even pretend that I balance anything. Uh, my life changed a couple of years ago when I discovered something called the progress principle. It is a principle that was written about in the Harvard Business Review. It's based on a tremendous amount of research done by a professor over there. And what she determined is that people that feel uh, happy and successful and fulfilled by their lives and work, they all have one thing in common. They feel as though they're making progress on something that matters. So I read this little bit of research and I started applying it to my life. And what I do, as, as stupid as this sounds, it really works. I don't focus on balancing everything. I focus on just making sure that I make progress on one thing a day. That's right, you heard me. One thing a day that matters to me. Now, if I can make progress on one thing a day that matters to me, then I can let go and let the rest of my day get hijacked by kids, by spouse, by phone calls, by emails, by social media, by all kinds of things that come up and tend to hijack your day when you're a busy person, when you have a family, when you're married, when you got a lot going on. And so by focusing on one thing a day, I feel the sense of control and the sense of progress that science tells us will make you happy and make you feel more confident and actually make you more effective at getting things done. It also frees me up to be more present with my kids. Here's another thing about balance and a busy family life. I never focus on the quantity of time that I spend at home. I focus on the quality of it. It's very easy to be around your kids a lot, but never, ever, ever be present. It's actually very difficult to make sure that when you are around, you're actually present to what's going on. So those two things, progress principle, which means one thing a day, and focusing on the quality of the time versus the quantity time, they've been complete game changers. And here's the other thing that I can tell you, having an 18-year-old, a 17-year-old, and a 12-year-old. Every single phase of your children's lives will require a different you as a parent. The kind of mom that I was when I was, when I had a three-year-old, very different than the kind of mom that I am now that I have 18, 17, and 12-year-olds. Having a sense of compassion and empathy for yourself, a sense of humor about the way that life changes, the way that kids can just throw a monkey wrench into just about anything, having that sense of humor will help you a lot as well. So to sum up the progress principle and focus on one thing a day, quality over quantity, understanding and having a sense of empathy for yourself that things are going to constantly change and it's going to require you to change. And then I guess finally, I'm going to throw this in here too. There's no right way to do parenting. You need to listen to your values. You need to listen to what's right for you and for where your kids and your partner are. And you got to stop looking around and comparing yourself because I think guilt sneaks in when you start thinking that you're supposed to parent the way other people do. You got to parent from yourself and your own values and your own barometer. So I hope that helps. Get balance out of there and focus on your priorities and all of the quality time and also having a healthy sense of humor and empathy for yourself. <music>